Good day students, welcome to mathgotserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over how to solve multi-step inequalities. Before we get started with um, some examples, let's go ahead and do a real quick review on what our inequality symbols mean, okay? So let's title this review on the inequality symbols. Okay, now the first inequality symbol we're going to be looking at is the less than inequality symbol. So for the first one, we have the less than inequality symbol. All right, so that's how it's written and you use in verbal form, it's less than. All right, and an example usage of the less than inequality symbol, let's say you have X is less than some real number A. In a scenario like this, if you want to graph it, you just have to identify where A is on the real number line. So let's say this is A. Now since it's less than, you have an open circle pointing to the left. Now we have an open circle here because this less than symbol does not include the boundary value. Alright, so what kind of configuration will result in a closed circle? Let's take a look at the second inequality symbol, less than or equal. All right, so we have less than or equal. Let's take a look at an example usage. If you have X as less than or equal to A, now in a case like this, um, the boundary value is included. All righty, so let's say you, want, you just identify A on the number line and then in this case, you're going to have a closed circle, all right, and then pointing to the left direction. So, you know, on the number line, when you go from left to right, the numbers are in increasing order. So, and if you go from right to left, it's decreasing. So, um, less than points to the left and greater than points to the right. And now you can see that this little component right here underneath the inequality symbol, this is the inclusion symbol. All right, so whenever you have an inequality with that line equal to component there, that means that the boundary point will be included, which is illustrated with a closed circle on the number line. Okay, all right, so when we switch things, the same uh, principle will apply. Let's look at um, number three, the greater than inequality symbol. This is greater than, greater than, Example usage x is greater than a. If you want to graph that on a number line, let's say this is a. Remember when you go from left to right, you're increasing, okay? So you're going to have a excluded and everything to the right of a on the number line means that x is greater than a. All right. Last but not the least is uh, greater than or equal to greater then or equal to we have that inclusion component there so an example usage is if you have x is greater than or equal to a now do you see what the difference is going to be here it's going to point in the same direction because it's greater right but since you have that inclusion that bar that equality component um, it's going to be a closed circle all right so just think about greater than or equal to as a combination of greater plus equal. Greater plus equal gives you greater than or equal to and less than combined with equal gives you less than or equal to. And in these cases we have closed circles to indicate um, inclusion. Alrighty. Now one side point you want to note very important when solving inequalities algebraically is that whenever whenever you um, multiply or divide by negative guess what happens you have to switch the inequality sign inequality symbol you switch the inequality symbol All right, so these are the points that we need to keep in mind for the examples that we're going to be working on today. 
All right, so the instructions for the examples we're working on um, are as follows. We're to solve each inequality solve each inequality and graph the solution all right so let's start with question number one let's say we have the inequality negative 48 as less than or equal to negative 3p minus 4 times negative 3p plus 3 all right let's go ahead and solve this inequality and and sketch the resulting graph okay so we have negative 48 less than or equal to negative 3p minus 4 times negative 3p plus 3 now we have um, on the right side we have this parenthesis component here so we want to get rid of the parenthesis first we do that by distributing okay so negative 4 We'll distribute negative 4 to both terms in the parentheses because we have only two terms there. So don't forget that you're also distributing this negative sign also. All right, so that results in negative 48 is less than or equal to negative 3p minus times minus is a plus 4 times 3 is 12. So we have 12p minus times plus is a minus 4 times 3 is 12. All right, now we're going to um, proceed to combine like terms. Do we have any like terms on the right side? Absolutely. We have negative 3p and positive 12p. Let's go ahead and combine those. So we have negative 48 is less than or equal to, you combine these two, 9p minus 12. Now we're going to collect like terms. Let's leave the variable on the left and put the constants on the I'm sorry, variables on the right and put the constants on the left because we already have a constant here. So we just add 12 to both sides. We're adding because the inverse of subtraction is addition. So we add 12 to both sides. And what does that result in? We have um, negative 48 plus 12. The signs are different. So you subtract and keep the sign of the bigger. You get negative 36 as less than or equal to these to add up to 0, 9p. Okay. And then lastly, we will we want to get um, p isolated. The relationship between 9 and p is a multiplicative relationship. So the inverse of multiplication is divide. So we divide both sides by 9. And that will give us, um, let's see. <clears throat> Thirty-six divided by nine is four. Negative four is less than or equal to this divides out nine divides out p. Okay, so we can switch this around. If you want to put the variable on the left side, um, the reason why you want to do the switch is because. it's easier to graph okay so when we switch it around we're gonna have P is um, greater than or equal to negative 4 alright so when you switch the order of the variables and the constant you also have to switch the inequality symbol you notice the inequality was pointing to the left here and then when I switch P to the left side the inequality is now pointing to the right now let's go ahead and graph that so nothing too fancy just a real quick sketch so we have a number line we graph the point P, which is negative 4. I have that negative 4. And then, is it going to be a closed or open circle? That's a question. Since there's this line of inclusion here, that means it's going to be a closed circle. And since it's greater than, you're going to be going to the right. See, the direction of the arrow tells you. So you're going to the right, so that it indicates greater than. All right, so this is a solution in algebraic and graphical form so solution in um, graphical and algebraic form and this is a solution in graphical form all right let's take a look at another example question number two let's say we have the inequality five times quantity b minus four 
minus 2 times the quantity b plus 8 is greater than 7b plus 5b. All right, let's go ahead and solve this. Now what you notice in the problem is that we have multiple parentheses happening. All right, so the goal when you're solving a math problem in most cases is to simplify. How can you simplify the problem first so that the problem solving process will be easier? So we want to eliminate these two parentheses right here. So what we are going to do as we did in problem number one is distribute. All right, distribute the five to the numbers in the parentheses and then the negative two to the terms in the parentheses. Operation is multiplication. 5 times b is 5b. 5 times 4, negative 20. Minus 2 times b is 2b. Negative 2 times 8 is negative 16. And that is greater than. On the right side, you notice these two terms are like terms, so we might as well combine. We add a coefficient, 12b. Now, let's redirect our attention to the left side of the equation. We're going to proceed to combine like terms. 5b and negative 2b are like terms, so we combine both, and that yields um, 5 minus 2 is 3, so 3b. And then let's combine um, negative 20 minus 16. Signs are the same. You add and keep the sign. That will give you negative um, 36, and that's greater than 12b. Okay, now let's see. Um, we want to put all the variables on one side, collect like terms and all the uh, constants on the other side. Uh, we already have 12b by itself on the left side, so let's just move 3b to the right. So what we're going to do is we're going to proceed to um, <clears throat> add 3b to both sides and then we will get b isolated. Alright, so let's do it. We um, Subtract 3b from both sides. Subtract 3b. And then what's that going to give us? Uh, on the left side, the 3b, positive 3b and negative 3b will take each other out. So we're left with negative 36 is greater than 12 minus 3b. You subtract and you get 9b. Now to get b isolated, what we'll do is we'll proceed to divide both sides by 9, divide by 9, and then that gives us negative 4 is greater than um, b. So we can switch it to place the variable on the um, left side that really helps with your graphing. So if you switch it, you have if negative 4 is greater than b. That means b is less than negative 4. All right, so there goes your solution. Now let's go ahead and um, draw the graph. This is our answer in symbolic form. And if we want to graph it, um, just draw our nice little number line. And then identify negative 4 on the number line. Doesn't really matter. Just mark anywhere in between your arrows. And then we have. Uh, B is less than okay. We have open circle because we don't have that inclusion line there Less than means you're heading to the left side like that and that's the graph of the solution to the inequality that we are solving All right, so a question we have for you to um, think about is do you think it's important to use the arrow when you are carrying out your distribution of a coefficient with terms in a parenthesis. You think these arrows that we use is beneficial? Let us know what you think. Just post your, your response in the in the comment section below. All right, so how well did you master the contents of this presentation? What we'd like you to do is we'd like you to try out the following problems just to make sure that you really understand what we covered. So try these. The instructions are for you to solve the given equations. Um, solve the given equa inequ not equations, inequalities, solve the given inequalities and graph, okay, just as we did in the previous two examples. All right, so solve the given inequalities and graph, we're just going to have you try out four problems. 
Question number one, what if you have seven times the quantity n plus two plus seven n is greater than or equal to negative 98? Number two, what if you have um, negative five times negative eight minus n plus seven times n minus two is greater than or equal to 38? Number three, what if you have um, 8 times m plus 2 minus 6m is less than 7m minus 8 times 2m minus 2. And then number 4, what if you have negative 8 times 1 plus 5r greater than negative 6r minus 8 times 1 plus 5r. All right, so go ahead and pause this video at this time. Try out these four problems. When you're done, click back on the play button and then we're going to show you what the final answers are. All right, hopefully you had a chance to try out the following problems. Here are the solutions for question number one. The solution is n is, um, n is greater than or equal to negative eight. If you want to graph that, you have your number line, and then you have uh, negative 8. Greater than or equal to the closed circle pointing to the right. Number 2, the solution is n is greater than or equal to 1. To graph that on your number line, just graph 1. And then closed circle pointing to your right to indicate the greater direction. Number three, the answer is m is less than zero. Graph that, draw your number line, have a zero. Um, now, is this open or closed circle? Since we do not have the inclusion line, it's going to be an open circle less than points to the left. All right, last but not the least, number four, r is greater than zero. That's the final answer. To graph it, just graph zero on your number line. This is also going to be an open circle pointing to the right. All right, so this is how you uh, solve uh, multi-step inequalities and also how to graph it. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel. We update math content to our um, YouTube page on a consistent basis. So uh, do subscribe so that you can get updates to the material. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this presentation. Let us know what you think about this presentation. If you found the content helpful in your studies of um, inequalities, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions, comments, or special requests, just post it in the comment section below. Tons of resources, practice tests, and games can be found at our website on mathgotserve.com. Do check it out. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.